Okay, guys, today I want to share with you um, a little bit about marketing with Google or marketing with Facebook and what's better and what's the difference. I have lots of clients that ask me this all the time. Should I be advertising on Facebook? I hear that's better. Or should I be advertising on Google? I hear that's better. And the reality is that every business is different and both of these marketing methods are very effective. But depending on your business, what is the most effective? So if you look at if you look at Google, you know, people search Google because they they need something. They're searching because they need information or they're searching because they want to make an actual purchase. But with uh, Facebook ads, it's a pattern interrupt. People aren't there looking for for something. So you, it's basically you have to interrupt them and say, hey, I have something for you. So it seems like Google AdWords would be better, but uh, it, it isn't always the case because um, with with Google AdWords, I mean, it's great. Somebody, if you're selling um, some kind of special product and people are looking for that product uh, or service, maybe a local service, that's that could be really effective with Google AdWords. But Facebook ads can be really powerfully effective too because you can really uh, tighten up the demographics of, of who you're marketing to and you can do a lot of testing to find out who is, uh, who's your audience. I'll get more to that in a minute. So, you know, with, with the Google, or I'm sorry, with the Facebook uh, advertising, it can be either be in the news feed or it could be you know on the right hand column there you can see the ads and um, you know the, the thing is that I found is most effective is to do a promoted post and um, the only time I ever use the ads on the side is when I'm doing follow me ads and what I mean by that is so I would I would have them uh, click on this promoted post and go from the news feed and then they'll go to your website and maybe they're looking around but then they get distracted they don't take action they don't make the purchase they didn't opt in whatever so then they end up back on Facebook that's when I like to use the ads on the side they would only see the ads on the side if they've already visited your your website so um, I find those effective anyway the the thing about Facebook is that you can really find out who your avatar is because you know you can do different tests you can see who's responding to them you can you can do what's called a blind post or a black post or, or what have you which means that it doesn't necessarily show up on your um, business page or your fan page of Facebook uh, it just shows up in the news feeds of the particular group of people that you selected to see this ad so one of my um, one of my uh, people that I you know I, I, I love working with is uh, is my uh, my partner in life and that's Ann Ribley and she um, she you know we, we, we tried Facebook uh, promoted posts to certain demographics we tried you know Eckhart Tolle people you know people who are, who are fans of Eckhart Tolle and people who are fans of Wayne Dyer uh, and we we found that Eckhart Tolle was way outperforming the the Wayne Dyer you know and then we could narrow it down more too about you know what, what is the what is the age range and you can do, even do what are their income levels you can do um, if they're if they make online purchases uh, you, there, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of added things you can you can do with Facebook, uh, so it, that can be really highly effective, and, and it can also really help you to understand who your audience is. Google AdWords, I mean, that, that's it's it's very effective for marketing. You know, if you have a maybe you have a yoga studio in town, uh, maybe you have a karate school in town. Um, Maybe you're a locksmith or a plumber or something like that. Um, those can these kind of ads can be really highly effective, especially you know on a local level. When you're competing on a national, it, it can be more difficult, and I'll go into that in a second here. But let's look at this. Uh, you know, so if I I, I search, uh, I'm in Lompoc, and um, you know, you know, say I'm I'm in Lompoc and I, I'm searching for a locksmith. And then you know this is what comes up. So 
uh, this uh, Scott Reardon, this locksmith at LompocLock.com. So he's, uh, he's got a paid ad at the top there, you can see. And then the next one you know, down here, he has, uh, this is organic. So this is his Google business page. So this is organic. That's great. He's not paying for that. And then uh, his website is coming up organically too. It usually comes up first or second, um, but he's the, the first locksmith. You can see this other one is just, you know, it's uh, Yelp. And, um, you know, the, you, you'll see Yelp, you'll see Yellow Pages, you'll see, you know, di directory sites and things like that that will come up. But uh, so this is highly effective for him because, you know, he only spends, he spends like less than $20 a month in his Google AdWords and uh, you know with the combination of these three items here he gets uh, two or three phone calls a day so it's very highly effective where Google AdWords would be much more difficult is um, you know you can see here like say I have um, a local web hosting company well if I'm if I'm advertising you know I'm trying to get uh, Google AdWords to work for me, you know, this is going to be very expensive because I'm competing with uh, large companies. I mean, you can see we have three ads here. We have ads on the side going all the way down here. Um, you know, we have uh, there's some organic. You can see the, the uh, GoDaddy comes up first, and it's great if you can come up organic, especially on a national level if you're you're trying to sell. Uh, your your products and service uh, nationally or even globally if you can get the organic to to work for you that's great but to use Google AdWords would be very very tough to compete you know, the, so I'd be looking at probably 13 to 15 dollars a click uh, if I if I use Google AdWords to advertise for something that I have national competitors on so local very inexpensive you can see here this was very inexpensive for for him but national could be really tough so uh you know that that just kind of gives you an idea of what you're looking at and what the difference is between facebook ads and uh, using google advertising both are very effective but depending on your business you may find that that one is better than the other or you may use a combination of both I hope you found this helpful. My name is Jack Voorhees, Big Cookie Websites. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.